<laughs> in a way, my part's done. Unless. In a way, my part just started. In some ways, in a lot of ways, no. But in a way, my part. Most of my parts. Uh, one minute. He's gonna look up and he's gonna send me the pepper salt. Am I gonna be a celebrity? Is I'm on your website? Uh, if you want to be. You know, the problem is with all the college people, uh, or celeb Hello. people, is that they get thrown out all the time. Yeah. So then it just kind of comes. To one, five, five. Yeah, so, you know, I know that feeling. Yes, okay. Every Friday at Newbies. Is it in? I wish. Okay, yeah, this is right. a top. I, I can just talk about it, but thank you. Bye. 30. Danielle fixed that top at about now. Come on, let's see. She did? Yeah. One day, we're just going to have to trust it on blind faith because I'm not going to play it and maybe she's doing a lot of stuff. You're just going to trust it on blind faith. Okay, we try and play and close the doors. You were to play it? Close the doors, pretty good guys, and that's on that side. 10. Nine, eight, seven, and the flight we go. Five, four, three, three two, one. Weather open. Sunshade. And Chris is up. Uh -huh. Ah, beautiful know. evening and a wonderful sunset just a few moments ago with that afterglow continuing across Panama City. Temperatures right now currently 64 degrees with clear skies overhead. Dew point temperatures right now are into the low 50s. Hey, that low of flame continues to bring in the dry air at about 5 oh. miles an hour. Across most of our area, we're now dropping down through the 60s after topping out into the low 70s. Eight, 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 eight. We are seven yeah. degrees warmer eight, eight, thanks to the sunshine we saw today as opposed to yesterday when it was generally cloudy day across our area. Live Viper 7 Doppler radar. No rainfall to speak of across the Panhandle. We had some cloud cover this morning that has since now pushed down to the south, and as a result, we're now looking at clear skies all across the tri state region from Alabama, Georgia, and back here into northwest Florida. So, talking about your there forecast for the rest of this evening, we'll see generally starry skies overhead. Temperatures will quickly drop down into the 50s, and then by it's 10 o'clock, down into the low to mid 50s sure. tomorrow morning. Most of us are going to wake up in uh, the 40s across right? the Panhandle. But the rest of the details in your Veterans Day and the rest of the weekend here. forecast. But the news starts right now. Is rolling here some music. Mike. Beaches International Airport's runway was shut down today after a plane made a crash landing. We talked to officials about what went wrong. And here's a sock and beat. The state of this law make it one of the most welcoming <laughs> states to servicemen and women. I'm the state capital. I'm Jake Stofan, and I'll tell you how one Tallahassee company is making the state capital a great place for veterans as well. And the beginning of a holly jolly Christmas is at the Holly <laughs> Fair. Yeah, Vendors are helping you get in the holiday spirit, and it's all for a great cause. <laughs> See you well. from WJHG. Um, in um, high um, definition. This is News Channel Five. Well, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nisha Wilkins. And I'm Ron Morasco. Welcome to News Channel Seven. The Northwest Florida seven. Beaches International Airport runway was temporarily shut down this morning after a plane crash landed. He's According rolling. to the airport's Super deputy Zen. executive director, assessing a one eighty five was landing a long when wind caused here. the plane to flip the over. The pilot was reportedly the only one on board and was not injured in the incident. It's something. It's not overly common, but it is something that we prepare for. And uh, you can see that the, very, the very staff and the fire department uh, were very capable, very ready to respond. Here we go. The runway sure. was closed while crews were put run, the plane leave. back over and cleaned the runway. Officials said the runway is now back open and operational. He's up. A man wanted on federal drug Those charges in Bay County was arrested this morning in Dothan, Alabama. Bay. Dothan White say 33-year-old Kyle Pate at Panama He's City is arrested in a hotel parking lot. Investigators say Pate fled the Bay County area about two weeks ago a following a federal right. indictment for distribution of heroin. Well, Pate is in the Dothan really City Jail really awaiting transfer to the Bay County Jail. The Black Kappa Phi fraternity has announced that he is working to technically the charter at State that. University. The announcement comes a week after the death of 20-year-old Andrew Wilson, an FSU student who died in an alleged all-night drinking binge at an off-campus home. Is it notes he has an ECP show? The chapter violated the social event management policies at an event on November 2nd. The Tallahassee Police Department is investigating the circumstances of the off-campus event. 
and coffees. Bay County residents line the streets of Harrison Avenue today, sporting red, white, and blue to show their appreciation for veterans. April, this morning, the annual Veterans Day Parade marched through Panama City. It started near Bay High School and ended up at the marina with the short ceremony at City Hall. Bands, including Merritt Brown Middle School, walked in the celebration. I wanted to um, thank all the veterans who have served our country us. and been fighting for our freedom. And I'm just so happy that I can live the life I live because of these veterans. And I'm just so thankful for them and everything they do for us. Captain Anderson's from Marina in Panama City Beach is hosting a freedom celebration tomorrow at 11 a.m. The Veterans Day Parade in Callaway starts tomorrow at 2 p.m. Each year, the North Bay Clan of the Muskogee, Muskogee Creek hosts an intertribal powwow. The powwow is hosted on Veterans Day weekend to honor those who fought for our country while keeping the tribe's heritage alive. The event features music, dancing, and a wide variety of vendors. Most of the items for sale are actually handmade by the vendors themselves. Tribe members say they want the public to learn more about their clan's history. That's up. I hope they remember how much that our culture has actually attributed to everything that we do today. Three's up. The Powwow will be open right. Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. It's located on Lonnie Road, off I-77 so. in Chiflin. Well, today, hundreds gathered in downtown Mariana to honor local veterans. The Mariana Women's Club yeah, and rolling. Chipola Civic Club hosted their fourth annual yeah, Veterans Fair. Veterans were encouraged to wear their uniforms to show what branch of service they were in. Veterans and their families enjoyed a hot dog lunch as well as a performance of songs by the Riverside Elementary Beaver Courts. Out, camera two. Florida builds itself as the most veteran-friendly state in the nation. For the last 94 years in the state capital, Packaging Upper Bay is held for Veterans Day. News Channel 7's Jake Stofan brings us the story behind how one special float uses a grave to give back. The Let me see this stuff here. Three years ago, Skip decided to use the state state resources to help out the Veterans Day Parade in Tallahassee. But Skip wants to do more than decorate a float. So we decided to visit a veteran every year to honor her out each year. Their hometown hero veteran receives a care package catered to that team. I had this idea to buy a veteran for a chair, like a real chair. And we did that for our first veteran our first year. This year, the Larry Yellow family Coast family family family. families. Smell Coast chose Tina Reason as sponsor. She comes from a military family and used her 25 year background in social services to create an organization dedicated to. All right, here comes 48. We can say one She's line that we've done our job and just go to the veterans has four. stopped 11 suicides. Well, the folks in Alcatraz are hard to make the state capital a great place for veterans. Lawmakers of the years have been and new policies to make the state one of the most welcome and to serve by Navy veteran we have rich employee Rich Guy says veterans tax exemptions like discounts last on services and aid for disabled veterans reflect the state's dedication to its vets. I think for six seconds of race a little more focus on veterans than other states I've lived in. Right on the hometown heroes will go out the visa she got tagged to the Ronald the Marine Corps. He just returned back to his hometown from deployment earlier this week. Tallahassee, James Dovan, News Channel 7. Out of Since getting involved now with the parade, Altrua has donated around $50,000 to veterans. Well, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, but that doesn't mean that donate. Christmas isn't already in the air. It's the Daniel Holly Annual Holiday Series is off today at Edwards Resort in Panama City Beach. For some, the event can be a one-stop shop for all their Christmas needs with more than 90 vendors, but for others, the event isn't just shopping, it's tradition. Here's Alicia. The Holly Fair runs until Sunday afternoon, and all the proceeds from the event are going back to the community. And Mike's up. Coming up, President Trump is making a promise when it comes to trade. This as he meets with leaders in Vietnam at the Apex Summit in Vietnam. Ooh, the Vietnams. Chris up. And meanwhile, a beautiful Three, sunset two, fading away one, from our right. Panama City Beach camera. Two clouds out there over across the Gulf of Mexico. If you're heading out to high school football Stand tonight, the weather's looking absolutely perfect. And what about the chilly side? You might need that stadium blanket. 
Well, the details of your weekend forecast coming up next. He's rolling. You're watching News Channel 7 at 5 with Ron Brasco, Lisa Wilkins, Viper 7 Weather with certified meteorologist Chris Smith, and Sports with Scott Rossman. 3, 2, 1, we are out. Are your friends in Cuba? Should be right around 74, 75 degrees. That's about where we're going to 
end up staying. It's cool weather. It's keep uh, it's definitely a zonal flow of price on recent and by next kind of and by two and three Monday and Tuesday. That should just kind of keep us very nice as we this next week. Very dry as well. Here's your Viper seven day forecast. Better today is going to be dry. A little bit more cloud cover Saturday night into Sunday. But again, very nice weather right on camera. Coming out of the camera this week. So unless we get a couple of those sprinkles on Sunday, that's going to be about it. Two, two, one. Two is up. Perfect. Oh, no, we're not going to get him in there. Uh, we'll yeah, I have no idea what <laughs> Now we wait. Well, President Trump continues his tour of Asia and Vietnam. He's there for the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, or APEC. The president is there to talk trade. It's an APEC to put America first in trade practices. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell reports. Hey, it's rolling. President Trump Super participated up. in one of the well-known traditions of the APEC summit. The president we got a plan out on the end of size. Ties made by his own family Wait, and brand donned the funny shirt, as it's known. In this case, it might be so funny looking at those shirts. The blue shirt that he and other leaders were wearing for the end of the day. It's like silver. It's like some kind of silver. Was seen shaking hands with Vladimir Putin, but officials say don't expect much more than that. Even though there had been anticipation of a one-on-one -on -one meeting between the two presidents, Sarah Huckabee Sanders says there is no formal plan for them to sit down and have a conversation, but they would be meeting from time and again during the sessions of the APEC summit, which brings together 21 nations, mostly to talk about trade and common interests. For President Trump, oh, that Kelly is pushing his so. America First agenda. From this day forward, we will compete on a fair and equal basis. We are not going to let the United States be taken advantage of anymore. But he's also been playing the no-blame game, saying it is not the fault of countries like China or other leaders assembled here who have been taking advantage, he says, of trade policies that benefit their countries, but not the United States. He's trying to work to change some of those programs in individual negotiations with countries. Here comes Kelly from Vietnam. Like President Trump will then spend part of the weekend visiting Hanoi, where he will be honored with a state dinner. I'm Kelly O'Donnell, traveling with the president in the Vietnam. Major allegations making their way into the Alabama yeah, Senate race and sending shockwaves across Washington. I'm Blaine Alexander Four, on Capitol Hill. Three, that story two, coming up. One, we're done. All right. Ask So let's see, these are our friends. These are our friends. Mm, my bad. I'm not saying 18. Oh, my bad. What? First of all. Because I was thinking, like, the ultimate thing is to shut down. So it's like, wow. All right. Okay, thank you. What? I said, yeah, I should have said charger. I caught it too. Yes, in the next show, by chance. And at 5 30, I looked in the Deer Charter. So, one minute. No, we're right there. And you should. Stupid. Right answer probably was to what was it? Where is 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 it? Was it? it was the uh, FSU charter. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I should have done. I was watching. In retrospect, I did a little 30. Over. I just would have liked Shrek's video. That's the true answer. Senate races. 
Alabama Republican Willie Morris been accused of inappropriately touching a teenage girl when he was in his 30s. The allegations are sending shockwaves through the political world. NBC's Blaine Alexander is on Capitol Hill with more. Just Blaine. Well, Ron, I mean, so coincidentally, these the allegations became public. Uh, you updated it in my boxes and in the thing. Not the boxes. Please, please give it to the boxes. Sexual well. harassment training. And now, even some people who had endorsed more are trying to keep their distance. Republican Senate candidate from Alabama, Roy Moore, who built a his career on Christian values, publicly denying a Washington Post report that he initiated sexual contact with a 14 year old girl decades ago when he was 32. Yeah, I've never talked to him. Is that the same as this? Three other women say he also pursued him around the same time when they were in their teens. More speaking on the Sean Hannity radio show on offense. This guy's in until I believe he has to step down. Goodbye. More than a dozen GOP senators are five the music the White House and two lights. Allegations alone should not the White House and I still got to say. However, the president also believes that if these allegations are true, Judge Moore will do the right thing and step aside. But the decision ultimately comes down to the people of Alabama. I don't think it's true. Right. The people there are against you. And conservative Breitbart News published a story ahead of the post in which Moore slammed the allegations as a smear campaign. And Moore is refusing to step away from the race, and his name is already on the ballot. Alabama officials say that even if he does choose to leave the race, it's too late to remove his name. In Washington, Blake Alexander, News Channel 7. And we're up, we're up. Well, next in sports, we'll look ahead to round one of the high school football playoffs set for tonight. And Scott business with Gulf Coast head coach, Gulf Coast head coach Rudy Scoble as our Commodores get set to make Three, their home debut this evening. One, we're out. All right, what's up? Uh, it's Res Hawk with an H. Res Hawk with an H. Instead of P. Oh, just got my check. In college athletics, uh, anywhere. Uh, in She's outstanding in everything. Welcome back tonight. Is a game game. very big night indeed for a select few area high school football teams. Tonight they hit the field for the first round of the state playoffs. Rez, all right, cool. Yeah. R E Z H A Q. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get a shot of Ron's socks before the problem cast is over. Red, white, and blue. Cold, be cold. All right, he's in, Adrian. All right, we're good. No more of his mic. I think she was thinking on the ID. I mean, the overdrive command, not the actual business command for the boxes, probably. I think she just did that, and whatever computer she was on couldn't do it. In 25, Ron Scott. That's not good. That's good. Yeah. Everybody knows the abbreviations of the day, you know. It's One minute. Where's that? That's no, so Alex is hunting. This way. Taylor, how old are you this Tuesday? Thirty-one. Oh man. Thirties. The thirties are good years. You hit forty. Everything falls. Yeah, it's tough to get back into fourth gear. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm consider, considerably older than you, too. So. I'm, the, I'm the, well, I'm not the old person of the anchor quartet. Dang, why did you just say I'm not the old person of the anchor quartet? Is Ron older than him? Maybe. Yeah, Ron's probably older than you. Yeah, he's probably older than Ten, nine, eight, 
Three, two, one. Sports open rolls. Now, news channel seven sports with Scott Rossman, and he is up. Well, welcome back. Tonight is a very big night indeed for a select few area high school football teams. Tonight, they hit the field for state playoff action. For some, they're looking for the first of four necessary wins to win a title. For others, it's five. County uh, count at 1A Chipley and Holmes in the uh, former group. They meet in the region semifinals tonight at Holmes, a rematch of a game they played last Stand week in Bonifay. The Blue Devils winning that game 40-14. to That, says Coach Womble, means nothing at this point. Bang. You know, and that's really been the emphasis is that, you know, this is, this is playoff football now. Out of key because we've been last week. So that's nice. You know, win or lose, yeah. they still have another week of football. You know, this week, there's, that's not guaranteed to us. Um, and Chipley certainly, uh, you know, they certainly got some very good football players. They've had a tremendous year over there. You know, so we really got to come out and, and play our A game. Um, because they've got some kids that can beat us. Um, we're, you know, we're not focused and, you know, we try to look past them uh, or anything like that. You know, because of the fact that we did it last week. Now here's the rest of the schedule for this evening as area teams are concerned. The winner of the Chipley Holmes game will face the survivor of Baker and Jay. In the bottom half of that 1A bang, bracket, bang. one down is the top screens. regional seed, so they host Jefferson. The winner of that one moves on to face the winner of a 2-3 right? seed game between Port St. Joe and Cottondale. In the 4A class, Fort Bay plays its first ever playoff game tonight, that over at the Jacksonville Rams. Mariana also on the road in the Jacksonville area facing West Nassau in Callahan. That's right near the Georgia border. And in 6A, Niceville plays at Navarre. The latter won their previous game last year in Crestview, hosting Golf Breeze. We'll have the highlights of uh, most of these games involving local teams tonight on Friday night over time starting at 10. Now to Hoops and the home opener for the defending national yeah, champion we'll Lady Commodore. That in. comes at the top of the hour. Easily. The Rooney Scobles team hosts the a Ben Sens team, a powerhouse junior, pro, junior college program out of Indiana. The Lady Commodore opened the season with two wins on the road, Shall beating both Sneed and Volunteer State as part of a tournament last weekend over in yeah, Niceville. Really coming up both today. Coast winning both those games by 40 plus. As for tonight's game on the home floor, well, Coach Scoble is anticipating a much tougher task. Here she comes. Yeah. 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 Always Got a lot of this chick. Very talented thing. Very fun. Very disciplined thing. Got a second to the super. This going to be a, a great challenge Two. for us. We have One. Uh, You're two done. things that we need to work on. And we need to have two players short uh, oh. for the season. And two of our best players. I'll kill you. Very good team. We'll see what we're made of. And we're going to get out there and play. If we can uh, compete with a, a very, very good thing. Here we go. Okay, that game tips off at the top of the hour. We'll have some highlights for you as part of tonight's final edition of Friday Night Basketball Action. Four up. I'm ready for it. Okay, Scott, thank you. Chris has another look at the forecast when we come back. Three, two, one. Cool case out. Woo! Excuse my chance. Still nightly All right. Ron, may I ask that you and Scott give up y'all's mics at the end of the newscast or guess no call uh, and the I guess so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, check Jennifer. Um, ironically, get a TV check on Tyler. Can you pull up TV for me? Yeah. Tyler would be up by now. I call. Hurry up. Microphone check, Jennifer. Calling it both an alarm. He's not up either. Oh my gosh. Give us phone so we can text him. Yeah. Great. He's turning his uh, TV. Sorry, yeah, TV is on now. Just in the counter connect. Can you get a mic check from Tyler? Uh, no, I'm trying to get no, one. I'm trying to get one from Jennifer as well. Jennifer! Is Jennifer in the room with you guys, or is she off running around somewhere? She's in, she was in the dressing room. What? Is Jennifer around? She's in the makeup room. Yell at her for a mic check. Jennifer, mic check. Turn it on, too. All right, turning it off and back on. Hey, mic check, one, two, three. Welcome to Local 18 News at 530. There we go. We got Tyler Lyon from the field. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Do not have Tyler Lyon in the field. <laughs> yes, she's not saying Okay, so on floating night, <clears throat> we're going to have the promo and the um, Office. How long we got? In this commercial, how long do we have in this commercial? Uh, three seconds. Oh, 
Do dressing room mirrors tell us the truth? Okay. I'm Nikki Bassi, in New York. Forward. Coming up, the science behind shopping. And Jim Sam. And Beaches International Airport's runway was shut down today after a plane made a crash landing. We talked to officials about what went wrong. Here comes the open. Where's the music? From WBC News, by a high station. This is the local news and bye 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 it's, it's something that's not name. overly common, but it is something that we prepare for. How can you respond? That that you that the, you know, the staff, the uh, fire department, uh, were very capable. Just very getting ready to turn. Right now. Here we go. The runway was closed while crews yep. worked to flip the plane and the runway. Officials said that it is now back. Open and operational. Five. Meanwhile, the Pi Kappa Phi fraternity has announced that it's invoking the charter of its chapter at Florida State University. That announcement comes over the go. death of Sister Andrew two. Coffee, an FSU student and pledge who died after an alleged all-night drinking binge at an off-campus home. The fraternity reported that it determined the chapter violated their social event management policies. The Tallahassee Police Department continues to investigate the circumstances of the off-campus event in Coffee Center. Two, bang, bang. Well, just this morning, Bay County residents lined the streets of Harrison Avenue sporting red, white, and blue for the annual Veterans Day Parade. It all started near Bay, Bay High School and ended up at the marina with a short ceremony at City Hall. Bands like Merritt Brown Stop Middle me. School walked in that celebration. Bang. I wanted to you um, thank all the veterans who have been serving our country and fighting for our freedom. And I'm just so happy that I can live the life I live because of these veterans. And I'm just so thankful for them and everything. There you go, my class. Captain Anderson Terry in Kappa City Beach is hosting a freedom celebration tomorrow at 11 a.m. The Veterans Day Parade in Callaway is also tomorrow. That one starts at 2 p.m. And today, hundreds gathered in downtown Mariana next. to also honor local vets. Days the Mariana rolling. Women's Club, which is a civic club, hosted their five. annual Veterans Fair. Vets were encouraged to wear their uniforms to show what branch of service they were in. They were also treated to a lunch as well as the performance of Coming songs out. by the Riverside Elementary Chorus. And each year, the North Bay Clan of well, the Lawrence Gopher Creek hosts an intertribal powwow. That Here's event is hosted on Veterans Super Day Zen. weekend to honor vets while we keeping their heritage alive. Two and a half and that powwow out features for the music, time. dancing, and a wide variety of vendors. Most of the items for sale are actually handmade by the vendors themselves. Tribe members say they want the public to right, learn about their clan's history. Here we go, Beth. I they will remember how much that our culture has actually but it's uh, that we do today. to everything that we do today. Here we go. Bang. She's up next. The powwow will be open on Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. It's located on Lonnie Road off of Highway 77. Is out, five is up. Now to a story you'll only see right Stages here next, on the local team. The reflections yeah. staring back at shoppers in a dressing room mirror can often leave them scratching their heads. Nikki Batiste takes a look at the tricks some retailers Stages. use to manipulate what customers see when trying on clothes. He is rolling. So, this is my mirror. Dressing room this manipulation. Is this a skinny mirror? Or put her no? sock down this is because she's going out for it. Anna Valentine dressed her bedroom okay. mirror a whole lot more than any she first faces one be in the store's dressing room. What is happening is a sort of mirror manipulation. This is the place where decisions get made. Experts like shopping scientist Paco Underhill call them skinny mirrors. You can subtly adjust a mirror if you to are a size 10 to make you look like a size 10. It's just a matter of curvature of the glass. He says tilting can alter our reflection and perception. Tilting is one of the tools right there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, make sure that you get as far as you possibly can. Underhill showed us the VIP dressing room at Club Monaco's flagship store in New York. We'll <laughs> start tilting. <laughs> he says the room was designed to make shoppers feel comfortable and look their she best. She doesn't get it. Let's look at this mirror. So, is this an honest door? It's not tilted. <laughs> Count Jen, I'm going to tilt. Stop it! Stop it! 141 to 149. Sorry. It's okay. 
I decided to visit about 20 other dressing rooms, and there were significant differences from one teams. year to the next. You look awful, don't you? There's too many shadows in it, whatever. The lighting is awful. But Underhill says good lighting and a little tilting what? can make all the difference. Larry. It's not bad, is it? This mirror looks like it's tilted a little. 141 to 149, we got it. Anna says her contradicting favorite figures are right. frustrating. I often have like this face on when I go into the dressing room to make sure that I'm not like talking down about myself Stand because of the lighting or the mirror or whatever. To get her to see the action, she tries new clothes on at home and then returns what she doesn't want. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, New York. Music 5. Well, still ahead, our political interview series is back on Local 18 News. Democrats won big oh, double down this week. We discuss off year elections and how they affect the party residing in the White House. Yeah. got Tyler. And Jen, I'm out here at the 12th annual Bay County Sheriff's Rodeo. Lots of fun going to be underway. It starts at 7 o'clock. So next. here's the deal $10 to get in for adults, $5 for those of you in the military. Kids four and under are free. As far as the weather's concerned, it's getting chilly after high temperatures today reach the low range in the 70s. Tonight will drop down into the 40s and 50s. We'll talk more about that coming up after the break. You're watching Blair, UECP, Local 18 News at 530. With Jennifer Holden, weather with meteorologist. Are you recording? And sports with Jamie Hill. Who's going to see it? Uh, internet. <laughs> That's why I looked at you funny. I'm like, I wonder if she knows. Is I it, didn't it, know. He's young. This is what we got to What? Hey, Tyler. Wait a minute. Really? Is that on the internet? It's going to be, yes. Yeah. Take my part out. So I will. Oh, that's an A block. That, that's going to be hard. I'll see. Um, I need you to take Why didn't you tell me? Because I was in the show. Hey, we'll need to make sure they're at the interview set. Well, I'm, like I'm flummoxed next. now. I'll right, take a half step this to next the left, bump. and then when you're standing I'm there, flummoxed. I need you to like, kind of stand in that general area. I don't area feel good. For the weather we have a, because the weather down is like not. One minute, one minute. Gotcha, man. I'm not feeling good. Thank you. Can we do this on the internet some other time? Hey, Jen, uh, can you make sure that they Wait. know that they're on camera yeah. after weather? How long do we have here? 45. All right. I'm going to move. Yeah. Are they going to be right there? Yeah. Yeah. And we got them mic'd up already. I don't know. What I numbers see. are they? Camera two and four. I mean, mic two and four. Two and four. Don't put me on the internet. Oh my god. She'll forget about it. I know. I know. I'm not not going to do it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. You're open in 10. She's explaining what's going to happen. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're rolling. Now to your local 18 weather. Here is me. Just go. And he's up. Hey, welcome back to Local 18 News at 5.30 out here at the rodeo. I'll tell you, I had to do some digging, but I found my flannel. And I can actually at least come out here and not look too crazy out here. The weather's cool. Also, awesome. uh, all I need is a cowboy hat and some boots. I got the jeans, I got the flannel. Come on out here and show the share the video. It's the 12th year that they've done this, and it's all for a great cause. But again, don't forget uh, maybe a jacket as well to go on top of the flannel or uh, something to at least keep you warm because temperatures will be dropping down to the 50s right. so and no time. By the time we have it tomorrow morning, we we'll see temperatures in the upper 40s. For many of us, tomorrow night will be pretty much just as cool, although there, there will be more grass. clouds around the area. I'm glad you take remember that. Now, I forgot. Local, I the Cloud Local 18 off the radar, we're nice and dry, as far as uh, that's John concerned, is we're not going to really have too many issues as far as rain is concerned this weekend, There's but there the may be some clouds from time to time. Even this morning, things started off with a little bit of low level cloudiness, cloudy. but that certainly went away by 8 or 9 o'clock, and we had nothing but blue skies for a good part of the day. And that warmed us up, as you saw a moment ago, into the low range of the 70s. As far as uh, what we're looking at 
for winds, those northerly winds between 05 and 15 miles per hour are the reason why we're getting that cooler and drier air mass. And winds will shift a little bit more out of the east this weekend, which will allow at times some clouds to slip back through. Right now, temperatures are sitting in the low to mid 60s at the moment, 70 in Destin, though. But again, in another hour or so, and temperatures will be in the 50s across a good part of our area when we head into the overnight hour. Next guy, next guy. The next guy. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Three. Thank you, guys. Right along the coastline. So, All right. well, we'll have Veterans Day uh, events happening. We have the Callaway Parade at 2 o'clock. Captain Anderson is uh, holding something break. at 9, uh, 11 o'clock, rather. That's going to be uh, pretty good. Partly cloudy skies by the afternoon hours. One temperatures minute. will be near 70 One degrees. Minute. So, definitely dress in layers for those morning events. So, I put a bumper in there. Honor our veterans. Back. I mean, we like your help. But as we go throughout the afternoon hours, it'll feel pretty comfortable as long as you can find some sunshine. Again, some of that will be hidden by the clouds every now and again. As far as the dew points are concerned, I don't think we're going to have to worry a whole lot about rain because it's going to be still on the fairly dry side. So we head towards Saturday night, Sunday, Sunday night, just a hint of moisture might squeeze a stray light shower out of the clouds here or there. So you'll see what I mean on future clouds and rain. Most of the showers stay off on Florida's Atlantic coast near Jacksonville and then up towards Savannah as well. But we stay on the influence of uh, high pressure to our east. That's still bringing in some cooler air. Plus a couple more cold fronts on the way for the next couple of days. Things stay fairly consistent. And we're going to see high temperatures in the 70s each and every day. Let's uh, take a quick look at the seven-day forecast. Oh, You'll notice how we have partly cloudy skies and mostly cloudy skies. But wow. We'll see seasonably okay. cool temperatures You're up throughout off. the next seven days. So it'll be pretty Jenny. nice. Back to you, Jen. All right. Thanks so much, Got Tyler. You. Again, tonight's rodeo starts at 7 p.m. All You're proceeds clear. go to Bay County Sheriff's Office Mountain Posse Program. Is it? And still ahead, your here. favorite Republicans and Democrats are back from the White House interviews. We tackle the hot topics of the week right on the other end of this break. Stay close. Bang, bang. Woo! All right, everybody's in this. Doesn't matter where. Uh, yeah, I've already told Jim Rashad on that. All right, come here. 146 is Iris. Bang, bang. Check, 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 check. I know, I just hear. Entertainment. Talent. <laughs> Am I too high? No, it's good. <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, what about taking before I'm not even Yeah, they're very good. One minute thirty. Very good height. Um, We're starting on which camera? Time. She's gonna have a center shot on camera five first. We'll just listen. Again. Jen, you're on camera five. What camera am I looking at? He's gonna be looking at four. Looking, at four. Um, He's looking at four. You'll essentially just be looking at me. Okay. It'll take the little dual boxes. <clears throat> okay. And I'll start. And uh, let's see this guy. Let's see what we start with. Okay. All right. Two, one minute. I'll run prompt Okay. Ask Arthur to stay at camera two for me just for like five seconds. Check, check. One, two, one, two. All right, that's perfect. good. When I introduce you guys, then I'll take a dual box shot so you can look in the camera. Anything? Uh, there you go. Be that. It'll be that right there. So that'll be the shot that it first takes when I introduce you guys. Let's put him center so I can. So why is one taller than the other? Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. I'm very much. I see. I see. I can't have one side looking up. 30? No. Somebody will call him. Yeah, just try because I don't want to get it. I'm just going to Is she going to be on any other five. camera but five? I know. Jen, you stay on five the whole time. Okay, got it. 15? No. <laughs> Yes. I get 20 topics. No. <laughs> this right. break is way longer than it was supposed the to be. The other one was 20 seconds shorter. That was right. It was, I, I Five, moved it from 20 to four, the other one. Four, three, two, two I've got one. prompter. Three, two, one, and she's up. One hundred shot. Big election wins for Democrats this week that may foreshadow troubles for the GOP come All while box. President Trump was half a away in Asia meeting with world leaders. Here to discuss this week in the White House and is Republican whoa. Arthur Cullen. Democrat, Watch out. Uh, good evening the, uh, to both of you. Hey. Great to have you back. Um, Rez, I want to start with you hey. talking about this week in elections. Democrats won hey. today. In a case in the elections, midterms, the Republican White House so loses big. 
It's also in House races. President Reagan lost 26 House seats during his midterms. Clinton lost 52, and then President Obama lost 63 House seats in 2010 during the midterms there. But you can't question it. Democrats won big this week. So are they going to use the this? That's not taking account for it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, what we saw this past week was a big, big, much needed win for the Democrats. And we are three what, minutes. What we're seeing today uh, well, is a big shift in our country's uh, politics. Uh, like just a, just a year ago, I, I do believe, exactly. in my opinion, that this country made a mistake of electing Donald Trump. And since then, Is we have maybe? seen uh, millions of healthcare uh, of Americans being threatened. Uh, the president equating Nazis with, with, with civilians and, and, and civil protect protesters. And the country fed up with that. And what we saw this time was a reflection of that. We'll not only was this a referendum on, on the president, but this was a referendum on Republicans who are standing idly while this president does whatever. Is Red getting ahead of himself, or is this foreshadowing trouble? Well, I think he might be getting a little bit ahead of himself. While the Democrats deserve a congratulations on the win on Tuesday night, All right, here you've got to remember both Alexa, governorships three, two, were Democrat governorships as well as New Jersey and Virginia. And, and in Virginia, the Republican candidate got more votes than the sitting governor, Terry McAuliffe, who was Bill Clinton's campaign manager guy. So uh, well, Republicans were not out of the game there. The terms. Democrats should have won, and they the should have done well. Too, um, could the Republicans have done better? Absolutely. I think if I can borrow a term raise from a Democrat president, the midterms are going to be all about the economy. Students, this guy, that was by Bill Clinton. But as long as the economy is up high, the market is doing well, and uh, consumers are happy, I think the midterms will be Republican the entire way across. And they've got to get a couple of things through Congress that they can get. Not tax reform, healthcare, something like taxes, that. taxes, taxes right now. If they can get tax through and health care through, I've got they to be But as, if they reach the taxes to help the middle class, I think it will be well. And uh, I think you're going to see it happen. All right, let's move quickly on to Asia. This is a 12 day trip. He just left Asia. Asia. But he made some when he was talking. Um, before the president of China, he said, you can't blame a country for taking advantage of your country, talking about the United States, and obviously referring to trade practices. Mm -hmm. But this is a stark contrast Very. from campaign Trump, who demonized China. So, Arthur, I'll pose the question to you. What was with the sweet talk? Well, I think there's a lot of difference between campaign talk and actually being president. I think he understands well, how to the is and, one minute, and one also minute. to our safety. I mean, when you have uh, North Korea in that region threatening to bomb the world, you definitely have to make sure that you're friendly with all of the leaders of those other countries. Um, if you'll see how our president was treated yeah, in the last week, they pulled out the red yeah, carpet. Cool um, they've treated him well, invited him to speak in front of parliaments. I think he's done quite well. I think he's represented our country first. And the good thing is he's continuing to stay. He's keeping America first. And he's not only really representing another country, he's representing us. 30. What are the gains he's made on this entire trip? Well, I mean, I think I, I think Forza. what we saw from this uh, from this trip Forza. to Asia is that if you want to get his name to, if you want to uh, get the, get something out of Donald Trump, you have to sweet talk him, and that's what the Chinese prime minister is doing, the Chinese leader. Um, okay, Kerry is dead. And All right. what, we're, what we're seeing is a big difference from what Trump started in the campaign. Um, and the President Obama Chicken was accused of being an apology when he went overseas and talked about the United States, the United States, and interest with the Middle East, but. This is just blatantly hypocritical from, from the rhetoric that Donald Trump used um, in the campaign. He accused China of breaking the United States and now going over to and telling them that, hey, I can't blame the Chinese for what they're doing to us. I mean, yeah. absolutely. I, I, not just tougher, I want him to be consistent on his rhetoric. And we're not getting that. All right, well, we still have two more countries to get to, Vietnam, where he is now, and then the Philippines after that. So we shall see. Thank you, guys. For Camera five. Time. I'd like to say happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans out there. Thank you very much for your service. Thank you, Arthur. Well, sports is coming up next, and Jamie is back in. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Thank you. Two one commercials. Girl. All right, we did it. Okay, twenty-four thirty-four. Jamie's next over here. Twenty-four heavy. Jamie, you're open. It's dead. Hold up. She don't got to take out a hand or stuff, back. Eric, do you have Tyler on your show as well? I do. Okay. I think he's like, uh, he's bump one. Bump one. Yeah. I don't know that we're going to have any time for anything. Uh, we were 24 heavy. I'm going to ask her about and, cutting uh, something out of his block. Push your heart. 
Maybe do we have anything to drop in this block or the next? We got five in this commercial break. I see. I'll take anything I can get that's up to 20 seconds. I see five in this break we can have. The beta that can't be nice and awful. I got a thing from that. One minute. Chris, you see not hurt? I have five seconds because... Break 4-2 or just this break? Just this break. No, nothing in the next break? I don't know. Okay. Oh, you want me to drop that? Yes, drop the five. Yes, yes please. 40. Hey, friends, you talking? My check? My talking? check. We begin with college basketball. Chris will be quiet looking ahead to tonight's home opener. The defending champs, Mike check. One, two, three. Thank you, man. That works. Okay, I think we're screwed. I'm going to ask you guys, I think we went so heavy that we're not going to have any time after sports. So, uh, Jamie, we're going to have to speed something up. Is there any issue with that? 15. We're going to kill the fools if you want. There we go. We're going to kill the fools. Yeah, kill There's the answer. Stand by 10. Uh, Eight, seven, All right, six, six, five, no sports open. four, to Jamie. three, two, one. Cool kids up. Now. Hey guys, we begin with college basketball. Looking ahead to tonight's home opener for the defending national champs, the Gulf Coast Lady Commodores. Coach Renee Scoble and her squad hey, hosting one of the top the JUCO programs out of Indiana, Vincent. Ooh. Lady Doors coming in tonight Why at 2-0 over the season with two road games. Well Phoenix Need and Volunteer <laughs> State in the tournament. Tonight's game by over 30 points. But tonight's game, as Scoble says, will give them a better yeah, understanding as to where they stand so far in the season. She goes and beat. Vincent's coming in. Uh, hey, Meeks always, they come in with the... He's 12, close to 12 team, to Very fundamental team, very good yeah, team. Um, so I think it's going to be Probably. a, a great challenge yeah. for us. We have uh, some things that we need to work on. Some you know, you know, two players yeah. short uh, uh, for the season. And Our Q, very, very good here, team. So we're still kind of playing uh, behind the eight ball. So, you know, we'll see what we're made of, and we're going to get out there and play. And, Again, that game tips off at the top of the hour. Highlights on our website tonight, WECPTV.com. It's high school football on round one of the state playoffs. We have a few area teams kicking off tonight, hoping for the first of four or five needed wins to get a title. In 1A, you can count Chipley and Holmes among that group. Holmes is hosting the Tigers in their 1A region semi tonight. What's funny is these Players two just played right, each right, other sure. last week where Holmes beat uh, the Tigers 40-14 to, to, to set up this unusual rematch. I, guess here comes I, don't the we, I don't think we've done it before, but um, you know, we played last week and they, they whipped our tail and, and uh, sure could have won one more thing. Yeah. If we don't correct, you know, all our missiles. I'll keep this week will be there. You know, all that stuff, you know, this week we... Be another tough game, but hopefully we corrected all that this week and uh, we'll be prepared. Here we go. Holmes is head football next. coach Kevin Wommel not putting the focus on last week's big win and more on the game at hand tonight. And here we go. With yeah, we're looking the playoffs regardless if it was a rematch or, or anything else. You know, I've really, you know, we really just tried to try to emphasize the point that you know last week really doesn't matter if we don't take care of business this week. We're not playing any more football this year, so you know, really just trying to keep the focus on that. Uh, not necessarily worry about the uh, who's on the other side, just so we don't get caught up in you know the fact we had a good win last week. That really doesn't have any bearing on this week. Now look again, that game tonight, keeping on the guys. On the break. Music. You're watching Three, local 18 news two, at 5:30. We'll be right back. Oh, so close. Hey, okay, Jamie and Jamie have 20 seconds coming back for a goodbye. Goodbye, Jamie. All right, got time for a goodbye, kids. Let me get your mic checks. You guys, everybody, to my checks. I got a big one there. What? There we go. Ron's mic is not on. Nisa's hey, in the mic's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Y'all can figure eight, it out. Ten. Thank you. And Chris, his mic's on. I heard him. Yeah. <laughs> I probably should have used mic six. I just realized mic six wasn't even, Tyler wasn't even here. I made one that extra hard on the camera. Reason. Two, can we use the RS1? RS1. To take the R live shot out. Live bug out. <laughs> okay. Oh, there she comes. Alright, let's take it again and see what happens. Get tired, kids. How um, much time we got coming back?